I got a really bad jam on my Ender 3 and I'm going to show you how to fix it in just a few minutes. The extruder is hot, the tip is hot, and I'm going to try and move this a millimeter. I'm getting a banging and it's slipping. Let me zoom in the camera. So it's trying to pull it out, so that means that the motor is good, it's trying to turn. But this is completely jammed. I've removed the blue clip here and I've also removed it from the other end here and taken it out but I cannot pull this out now if I release the tension here on this thing here and try and pull it out it is absolutely jammed and so that's the problem so let's see if we can fix that all right the first thing I'm going to do is, is try and remove this Okay, so I've got this out and the filament is now just completely smashed, but I can't push it in or pull it out. Yeah, that's not, that's not coming. Oh, wait a minute, there we go. You can see it at the end here. I can see it's finally coming out. Right here. If you look real close, I think you should be able to see this coming out. All right. Oh boy, that's a big old jam in there. This is going to be really hard to see on camera, but the diameter here is quite a bit wider than it should be. Now, we are in a heat wave, and I mean it is hot. It's 111, and I'm inside a garage, so I imagine it's even hotter than that in here. And I think this got so hot that this filament became soft and it started bunching up into the end and eventually just jammed it. So let's put this back together and see if we can get it running again. So I'll loosen that up so that I can slide that down. And then you got to have that released. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that the I'm going to make sure that I can get that in there before I hook it up. So I want to make sure this is free. No, I can't. I think what I'll do, there is, appears to be a jam in here, and I, I have plenty of hose, so I think I'll snip this and just snip out the jam. Put that hose back there. Now let's try to get the filament through. Okay, so the filament goes through now. All right. And before I forget, I want to put that blue keeper on. And then I'll put this one on and get that down to the bottom of the hole and put the little keeper on and I believe the filament head is hot all right okay so now I'm getting it through now let's see if the stepper motor can do this on its own. There we go. Now the stepper's working on its own. Okay, problem solved. 